This young man, who we will call Tom to protect his real identity, seems to have it all going for him. He is well educated with a good job that is the envy of many. But he has one habit that has greatly affected his self-esteem, and that is nail-biting. This compulsive habit has really dented his confidence, so much so that he shies away from talking about it before the camera. His nails are quite unsightly, and his efforts of dropping the habit have so far failed. I subconsciously find myself biting my nails. When I do not know, till someone reminds me, why are you biting my nails? I just remember, and I stop. It's hard, I've tried, but... His girlfriend and mother have also tried getting him off the habit to no avail. My mom especially, she has gone to the exit of taking me to church to be prayed for, bringing pastors to pray for me at home. Right. According to Dr. Dorothy Chiza, a clinical psychologist, the first step of stopping nail biting is accepting the problem and then finding health ways of managing stress, anxiety or boredom. Dr. Chiza says these are some of the factors that trigger nail biting. A person is trying to, to deal with some kind of emotions and normally it, it's like it's an equivalent to thumb sucking and normally it dates way back into early childhood. Keeping one's hands or mouth busy by playing a musical instrument or chewing gum can also help. One of the common treatments is to apply a clear bitter-tasting nail polish to the nails. But for severe cases, it's a device that one seeks counseling services. A person needs to have to do, to, go, to undergo cognitive behavioral therapy, whereby we are looking at restructuring her way of thinking to be able to deal with that problem. Okay. So if the person is not ready, it involves a number of sessions first and foremost. May, the, the, the list would be around eight sessions on a, week, on a weekly basis, so it can take about three months. Nails are known to harbor germs, and health experts recommend addicted nail biters to regularly deworm. Irene Namialo, NTV.